In this video, the lessons will cover details of alkali metals in group 1 of the periodic table and explanation regarding the elements physical properties. Group 1 elements are located at the left side of the periodic table in the first column. These elements covers from the second row up to the seventh row of the periodic table. Alkali metal elements are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Each element in the periodic table is given an atomic number which is the proton number above the element symbol, while relative atomic mass number is stated below the symbol. Let's have a look at lithium. Lithium has an atomic number or proton number 3, which means lithium has 3 electrons in its shells. In this case, the electron arrangement will be 2.1, meaning 2 electrons in its inner shell while 1 valence electron in its outermost shell. Now, let's have a look at the sodium having proton number 11. The electron arrangement is 2.8.1, while potassium having proton number of 19 has electron arrangement of 2.8.8.1. If you notice, similar electron arrangement is noticed for lithium sodium and potassium, whereby the outermost shell contains one valence electron. This is why these elements are classified as group 1 element. As such, they share similar physical and chemical properties. Next, let's have a look at some of the physical properties of these alkali metal elements. Alkali metal elements are shiny, grey and soft metal. You can even use a knife to cut them easily. Besides that, alkali metal are less dense than water. They are good electric conductors and good heat conductors. Most importantly, they are reactive towards water. So these alkali metals are kept in paraffin oil in bottles to prevent them from reacting with water vapour in the air. Moving on, let's see the differences in physical properties of the elements as we move down the group 1 elements. The first point to be noted is that the atomic size increases because the relative atomic mass increases. One point to be noted again is that each of these first group elements have one valence electron and these can be seen in their electron arrangement as we move down this table column. Apart from this, the melting point of the element decreases as we move down the group. Similarly, you will notice the boiling point of the element also decreases as we move down the group. Another point to be noted is that metal gets softer as we move down the group. Now, let's look at the reason why elements become softer as we move down the group. Each atom in an element have attraction between the nucleus and the outermost electron. However, as we move down the group, the outermost electron is further away from the nucleus. Attraction between the protons and the valence electron or outermost electron becomes weaker as the atom size increases. Therefore, the metallic bond between the atoms become weaker as the atom size increases, leading to a lower melting point and boiling point of the elements as we move down the group. 
Additionally, as we move down a group, the elements become more reactive. This is because the valence electron in the outermost shell gets further away from the nucleus and it is easier for the atom to release an electron for reactions to take place. Well, I hope this video helped you to understand better about alkali metals and its physical properties. That's all for now. Thank you.